All right, everyone, we're going, we're back and let's go ahead and wrap up our, don't be phased. Let's finish up with our phase diagram. So let's go ahead and fill out all the sections of the phase diagram. So this is going to be AU plus liquid. This is going to be this plus this. This will be this plus liquid. This will be this plus this. This will be this plus liquid. This will be this plus liquid. This will be this plus liquid. This plus liquid. This plus liquid. That phase there. This phase plus liquid. This phase plus this phase. This phase plus this phase. This phase. Again, you need to write all this out, but I don't. I'm the professor. <laughs> Just joking, but not really. This, this phase plus this phase here. Actually, excuse me, um, not that phase. You're going to go to, you are going to be, actually, let's, we are going to, let's define this right here. That is going to be our, uh, actually, it's a tricky one. It's going to be this phase right here. This phase plus liquid, so that phase there. This phase plus this phase, and then this phase plus this phase. And then our gamma. It's right here, so gamma plus liquid there. And then this will be, I assume, our beta plus liquid right here. All right. So let's go ahead and let's remove all of this text um, because we want to actually look at some invariant points now. So we need to look for congruent melting points. So I've got a congruent melting point here, 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 here and right there those are all our congruent melting points let's go ahead and delete those now this will be a eutectic liquid to two phase region this is a peritectic liquid plus solid to a single new phase solid region so it's another peri eutectic 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 there we also have a peritectic right there and that is about all they wrote on that one. Excellent. So we're good to go on those invariant points. Um, yep, we're solid. No pun intended. Um, excellent, excellent. Uh, label all those. So let's look at a composition of 62% lanthanum. So 62% at what? 400 C. So 400C, about 0.6, let's zoom in a little bit. So 62%, about 0.4, so we'll put it, oops, let's do two here. So let's put the point right there. So let's see, what does it ask us to do? Um, what are the phases that exist? So I have, um, I have some phase that is, I'm going to call it alpha because that's alpha right here. And I have some composition that is equal, or basically this composition, that's AULA2. And let me delete this. Delete, delete. All right. AULA2. So that occurs at, looks to be about, Six, seven, like, let's just say 67, that's at 50 for the alpha. So my fraction, oops, let's go ahead in here. The fraction that's in the alpha is gonna be equal to, and we were at what, 62 composition? So I'm gonna run away, so it's gonna be 67 minus 62 over 67 minus 50, and the fraction of AULA2 is gonna be equal to 62 minus 50 over 67 minus 50 which makes sense because we're closer over here, so we should have larger fraction that's in that phase. Um, if we have two phases in equilibrium, the chemical potential of alpha is equal to chemical potential of AULA2. Excellent. Draw the free energy curves um, for the phase diagram at 1300C. Describe the concept of common tangent. What the, so remember, we know chemical potential is approximately dg dxb. So the common tangent basically means we have the same slope. When we're drawing the free energy curves at 1300, so let's just draw it like, oh, I was very nice here. So 
if I look and if I'm trying to draw a free energy curve here, so I'm going to draw free energy G versus my composition. I am basically all the way over here, here, and then at this one point I have basically an equilibrium phase. So here I am pure liquid, I am pure liquid, and then I cross into basically a beta plus liquid. This is pure beta and this is beta plus liquid again. So if I'm trying to draw, I'm gonna put this as my liquid curve, and I know that basically I have a common tangent that's going to basically dip in like this and then come out like this. So my liquid curve will look something like this where it's gonna go here, it's gonna come out, and then it'll hit again versus my beta, which is gonna be here, common tangent, alone, common tangent again, and then up. So you see here, I'm liquid, liquid, two phase region. So we have a common tangent, common tangent, and then that single point where I'm just pure beta phase. And that's it. That's how you draw the three energy curve there. A little bit of a difficult one, but I believe in you. Study hard, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. So do well in the exam. Bye.